Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the process of integrating ChatGPT and GPT-4 using Bubble, already here in Bubble. The thing that we're going to need here is the API connector. We are going to create another API. We're going to create an OpenAI account. And here we're going to get a call to get to chat.openai. How do I connect GPT-4 using Bubble API connector? It's gonna tell us that we need the API key. Let's also open OpenAI API panel here. Here we have the API keys. Let's see the response. Sign up for the API key. Create a Google project, install the API connector, create the API call, and we already have an address here. Initialize the call, but first we need to create the key. So YouTube test. First thing that we are gonna do is like, we have the API, in each API we have an authentication mode. For this one, we are gonna use private key in header. We have the authorization. Ever. This is like common way of authenticating through an API. If we had a different key, we could just put them here. Let me open the documentation. Authentication. Completions is what we need. There's a very quick way of creating an API in Bubble. Let's copy this. When you have a C URL here in Bubble, you can click on this option here, import another call from C URL and paste this. As we already have this here, we don't need this authentication. We can make this private or we can just copy this here and paste it here. This is going to be the completions. We're going to use this as data. Okay. Initialize. Okay, that's not working, so let's check chat additions. Yeah, I think we need this one. So let's try this chat. Let's copy this. No. It's gonna be GPT for messages. Messages. Road user content. Hello. Okay, we have some feedback here. Assistant, so how can I help you to do? Let me explain what I did here. We have the OpenAI API. We authenticate with right in here. We have create chat completion endpoint, which is this address that we can send things. And now and we are going to create two fields. This is the prompt field, and we're going to duplicate. We're going to create a condition. So if the prompt input value is not empty, then the default, the initial content for this one is going to be get data from external API, open AI completions, that TPT4, role user. We have to keep this. So what we can do is we can actually, this is going to be fixed. We can just put this tag here. Message. This is a test. Our role is always going to be the user and the content is always going to be variable, so we can change that. Let's change that. Okay. This is a test and here we're going to get the prompt, move line, value. And here the responses are going to come in choices and we get the first item and the message content. So how do you know what to get here? So API connector. Uh, when you go to manually enter API response, you're going to see the response that we, we got. Here is the JSON file. Inside the response, we have the choices. Inside the choices, we have messages. Inside the message, we have the content. Usually, it's going to be just one. So you can just go like to choices, first message, and first content, and it's going to be fine if it's working. So if we go here, give me an idea of a video for YouTube about Bubble, about how to become a Bubble I.O. full-time freelancer working on platforms of work. And let's see if it's going to process. We don't have any feedback yet. We don't have a response. So let's change it a bit. So let's copy this extraction. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a custom state call response. I'm going to put a text here. It's going to be empty. And I'm also going to create a processing yes or no. And let's put no here. But what I'm going to do is when YouTube processing is yes, the initial content for this is going to be processing. You're going to understand in a few minutes why I'm doing this. And when YouTube value and you can remove, and the response for this is always going to be YouTube response. So we can include a button here, say process. When this button is clicked, we're going to update the state. YouTube response get data from api open api completions gpt4 multi prompt value okay and now choices first item content also what we're going to do is is state 
uh, YouTube processing, yes. And YouTube processing, no. Create a YouTube video script or a video explaining how to become a bubble developer in platforms like Okay, processing. Okay, we got an error. JSON not valid. Look. Right here, the way we have to pass everything is with commas, and we didn't add that. So that's why we have to go here and make sure it's JSON safe. Let's try again. Processing. Yes, now it's working. Okay, it wasn't, we couldn't complete. Let's say title instead of script. Probably it's too big, the request was too big. There you go. Master the art of bubble io become a full-time developer on upwork and launch launch yourself nice list topics for a youtube video script on how to become bubble has a timeout when we do these requests that takes longer to process sometimes we have to adapt they fix this but somehow it still doesn't work for for large prompts or large responses as we would have here if that also then doesn't work i'm gonna change to gpt 3.5 yes that's what we're gonna do let's say gpt 3 3.5 I know that's not ideal for now, but if you're watching this video a few weeks from now, you're probably gonna be able to do that with GPT-4 and get the response. So I'm just trying, yeah, let's see. Yeah, nice. Introduction to Bubble, building your skills, creating Bubble portfolio, finding and applying for jobs. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm gonna try to, to help you with. If you don't know me, this is my profile. I'm a Bubble developer since 2021. It's more than two years right now, but I work with web development for more than 12 years. I have a few feedbacks. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm trying to share. And if you have any questions, just, just let me know and I'll do some other videos for you. Okay, so that's it for today. See you next week.